All right, go ahead. So Kelly. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Play in the way. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> Mom and Dad, be quiet. Can't pay me. Okay, it's my 60th birthday. And potentially two days from now. But I have notes, but I really can't read them, so don't worry. I'm not reading them. But the first thing I want to do is thank my daughters and my wife for putting this on. They insisted on having a party. I said, let's just go out to Bodega Bay and have a nice dinner. And uh, they insisted on having this party. Party. But before party. we start, before we start, I, I want to identify a few other birthdays that are going on right now. Corky? Yeah. There he is. <laughs> right February, bro. February 13th. Cindy, February 16th. My dad, February 18th. Me, February 21st. But we also have Becky, March 6th. My mom, March 9th. And I have a cousin who actually tried to fly up here from San Diego, couldn't make it. March 9th also. Oh, is he March 6th? Oh, he's March 6th too. So anyway, you can see that we were a very busy family between May and June. <laughs> so anyway, 60 years old, and I feel like a bottle of wine. And like any good bottle of wine, it, it has to do with the, the pruning. And my pruning took place seven months before. I didn't say nine, I said seven. Talk to my dad about that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I tried to think about what to say, and uh, obviously there's a lot of significant things that happen in your life. And I just want, <clears throat> we lived in San Francisco for two years, Santa Clara for four, then Richmond for six years. Then we moved to Lafayette, and that's where I spent my formidable years. Thinking of, thinking of when we moved to Lafayette, if we'd have stayed in Richmond, it'd be a totally different group out here. I would have, I would have driven up in my Harley, my, my cigarettes rolled up in my sleeve, and you guys would all be in leather. And I would have been at the Dawn Hotel, not at the Pyramid Ale House. So anyway, the other significant event that happened for me was I had planned on going to Chico State. Yeah! <laughs> I moved, the golf coach at BBC, I was on the golf team, his roommate at San Jose State, when they were in college, was a guy named Ed Rudloff. So he said, I've been unsuccessful in sending golfers up to Sonoma State. So he said, why don't you guys go look at it? So. My roommate, or one of my teammates, Mike Jones and I, got in the car, headed up to Sonoma State, and he showed us around the campus, and the bottom line is, I ended up, I, I ended up seeing where to live, the place, and I called my dad, and I said, hey dad, there's a place to live, it's like 400 a year. He says, before I could say anything else, he says, you're going there. <laughs> Fizzle end up, Dave. Woo! Go Cossack Seawolves! <laughs> so the bottom line is, if I'd have gone to some other school, again, totally different group of people. But, I do have a few friends of mine here from high school, actually from uh, junior high. They're, they lay in the room. And so, uh, by moving to Lafayette, my dad made a substantial improvement of all of our lives. <laughs> We're all very happy about that. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so I have a lot of thank yous, and I'm going to start with my dad. Dad, thanks a lot for the beautiful sight of Candlestick Infield the first time I saw it. Thanks for the manicured fairways 
of San Jose Country Club in Reed Valley. And also, thanks for always putting a basketball hoop at every single house we lived at. <laughs> we were always the place where everybody went. <laughs> to my mom, thanks for all the advice and love. <laughs> Clink your glass. <laughs> thanks for talking me out of uh, quitting fresh basketball. It's a game that I played well into my 40s. And we watch your help, you know that. Thanks for the awesome family trips to Mazatlan and yeah. also Kauai. Woo -hoo! <laughs> to my brothers and sisters and cousins that live in Lafayette, damn wasn't it good. <laughs> Two sisters meeting their husbands and continuing to live in the East Bay area. And when you get older, you guys can you guys can gush over your brothers and sisters when I go to your birthday party, but I'm pretty happy. <laughs> to my wife, thanks for surprising me on my 25th birthday. <laughs> and the next, very next day, I said, let's get married. <laughs> But there's also a strong side of John. And <laughs> she organizes every day. She does. And the responsibility is to go along with it. As far as raising our daughters, that's our best product. <laughs> uh, but our biggest accomplishment, biggest accomplishment for Joan is being a grandmother. <laughs> and at some point she's going to retire. But it isn't too far off. I think she's going to be pretty good at that. <laughs> Let's clap for John. <laughs> to, to my daughters, I'm so very proud of both of them. Both of them have great careers. Kelly graduated from UC Davis. Two great grandkids. <laughs> and Rick, her husband, occasionally can beat me in golf. <laughs> Megan grew up a lot like me, kind of shy. She always sets her goals and goes straight for them. MVP in JV basketball, varsity softball, and she graduated from UC Berkeley, and now she's living in the marina. She had a great job at 24. Megan! She still plans her week around running, and her goal is the Eugene Marathon. And she and I are going up there. <laughs> Eugene. <laughs> so she's trying to qualify so for Boston. Oh. And she the also got her Boston. first car in 20 years, just a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> so this bottle of wine is going to continue to grow. And <coughs> you guys determine how good a bottle it is. But I would like to end this post, even though there's a lot of people in line here. I don't know what I'm up for. <laughs> but I'd like to end this toast with the toast my grandfather used to give. And he gave it everywhere. He didn't care who the people, who was there. He just gave it. But his, it went like this. I hope you all live 1,000 years. Here's to me. I hope I live 1,000 years less one day. For why should I live on when you... And you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you have passed away. Thank you very much. Yeah.